Since this morning I posted the Aries pre-full moon readings, Aries won the bonus read for today. <clears throat> so I'm asking spirits, guides, and angels from up above to give me clarity and show me lots of love. Raphael, Uriel, Michael, and Gabrielle, please come in and bless the reading. That's as soon my spirit, guides, and angels, God, the Father of all, that he bless and watch over all of you. If there's any unwarranted energy around you, I release that without consent from anyone else around you. Let's protect you. Let's clear out the past. Let's free up anything or anyone that may have caused you any indiscretions going into the new Aries full moon and releasing all the karmic and pre-existing contracts. Spirit and guides, here we go. Center of the read is... The Three of Wands. You holding on to one and your ships are finally coming in. There's clarity. There's emotions. There's two birds, two roads, twin flame. You're holding it in your hand and here comes that big ship. It's old. It's requainted. The seagulls are bringing messages in and you are waiting patiently. I'm sensing that you've been waiting a really long time for this to come in. That's not a new boat. It's an old boat. And this definitely is a female waiting for her ships to come in. All right. Let's clarify the three of wands. Let's clarify the three of wands. Wrapping some cards here. The ace of pentacles. This could be the opportunity of a lifetime in regards to business. Now, I don't know if any of you know about <clears throat> deer, but I have extensively studied and watched a mighty hunter for a long time. We have a rabbit here, which is senses abundance. We also have the emerald, which is, I believe, I'm not sure if it's Taurus or Gemini birthstone, but the emerald here is of high priestess status. It is someone who knows nature and who stands there as a guide. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine horns. So this deer is older. It is a bawk and a big one at that. Um, many creatures follow along. They high, high honor and high stature, and the sun is glowing above them. So definitely holding this pentacle coming in. Um, that's long overdue and been worked for, and it's a spark of interest. See behind the cloak? It's coming in from behind. You don't see it coming. It's a surprise. Okay, here we go. One more card, Spirit. One more card. This is the bonus read for Aries this morning in regards to the free Aries full moon. There's some indiscretions over here. In regards to passion, maybe it's an internal struggle. I see different faces of one person. So someone is going through maybe the dark night of the soul, right? Um, going out in the nature, preparing for battle. And I mean future battle, right? We're here for a life mission and a purpose, but someone is going through a spiritual warfare. I'm not sensing anything of this mind, but someone is definitely clearing out with that light there, like light workers, um, like in um star wars with the light beam this is not of this realm it is of another right there it is there's the communication we have a lot of fire signs going on here we have aries leo sagittarius but there's communication coming in there's eight <clears throat> nine and ten and holding on to one right so we have communication in regards to possible business or a partnership with your twin flame the purpose it is judgment day Judgment is 21. That's partnership and brand new beginnings. This is someone blowing the horn and letting you know that two people are on the same path, divinely orchestrated, and also closing out two major life cycles, right? That is you coming in front of divine and decisions needing to be made. In regards to, you know, the work that you've done, the internal work in this five of ones to the left-hand side of here, it is the light that is coming in from divine, and there's your message. Someone is looking at you in reverence. Physically fit. Knows their value and worth. And again, we have two more birds. The two red cardinals. So you were divinely guided towards one another. It's something about the light that I keep, my eye keeps bringing it to, right? It's like it's an illumination. It's two pots, two cardinals, two birds. Everyone is mirroring each other here. It's someone's internal light has opened up and sparked this ship from coming in or the feminine here as internal heart chakra opened up and now because they know their worth their partner being masculine or feminine energy is moving forward towards them 
after a heartbreak, correct. So you're both coming out of a heartbreak, doing the internal work, being congratulated from spirit and being gifted uh, uh, an ace of pentacles. And there comes the tower. The tower pushed you through for wish fulfillment. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that this morning. Um, spirit is saying crowning out the five of wands over there. Oh, chariot. Okay. So it's because someone's working on the internal struggles, it's slow here. Yin and yang is, again, two. Partnership. Silver and gold, right? This is someone who is prosperous. They know their value. They know their worth. They were sent to you from a higher calling spiritual realm, right? This diva knows exactly that the plants in nature will bring her proponent, meaning her other half towards her. Yep. Going back for victory. Going back in regards to the full moon, making something more aware, highly sensitive, highly intuitive. Uh, the full moon in Aries is bringing that chariot forward and starting that brand new journey, right? Somebody started on the path but got lost on the path somewhere. But see how the light comes in? The light, right? Spotlight. Shows you which way to go. Two of Wands. We have prosperous energy. Someone taking this journey. Looking for that deer. It's ironic in the reading here. Hold on. Where are we going here? Hold on. Here's the deer. Right? Here's the deer in reverse coming in. Because this was in reverse. Coming in. It's being internally guided. Right? Internally guided in communication coming in throwing the swords, right? Making like Cupid's mark. And then the light goes on. The light goes on internally for the force of the movement, right? The movement forward could be Cancerian energy in the sun. Opens up the full moon, right? Someone goes back to this path. Seeing someone's value and worth of wisdom and abundance. He's been waiting for that shit. We have the two birds. We have the two cardinals. So there could be a water and a fire sign here, but or someone has got a lot of water in their chart. And the fire is shining a light on the water as a beacon of hope for the ship to come in. Wow, I don't know where that just came from, but it just came in there. And the wish fulfillment, right? Is brought the tower in after heartbreak. Hold on, spirit. We got a we got a thing going on here. Because choices were made to get to the Ten of Cups. Again, there they are. The two geese. The loyal and faithful companion over here. The cat in the garden. The bees, the butterflies, the transformation, the chakras being fully aligned. Choices here, right? Choices being made. Masculine is picking a feminine. Feminine in the cart. Choosing love, bringing flowers as a gift. Seeing their value and worth. Defeating the demons, letting divine do its work. The castle, they want the whole kit and caboodle coming a long distance. There's the Rocky Mountains, could be Colorado. I'm also seeing a path heritage of um, Oriental or Tibetan, uh, but there's definitely women in a garden plucking from the roses or yarn. They're making something. CM. MC or CM, if that means anything to anybody. One family doing the exchange with the other family. Yep. One hand's divinely guided to the other. The mallard duck. You might want to look that up. I don't know what that means, but there's a 10. Closing out a cycle in regards to their emotion. This is a wish fulfillment, right? Someone bringing everything to the table. There had to been a breakup and heartbreak to come in here to change this situation. Clarify the reading here with the Ten of Cups. So I'm using the Romance Angels now. The first deck I used was the Gilded Tarot Royale. I don't always use that. I'm only called to use it when it, it's open. Okay, clarify the Ten of Cups. Retreat. Looks like a marriage card to me. So it looks like in this garden, some ancestors were wishing and, and watching both of your hearts for the Ten of Cups. And what happened was there was an exchange here, right? When a baby is born, a blanket is made and they keep it for a lifetime. But there's some exchange here. Someone has gifted this opportunity of love to a partnership or a pair. Clarify this two of wands here that was in reverse. Oh, it flew out of there. Getting to know each other. 
as you reveal your innermost selves to others, your bond deepens. Okay. Maybe it was an arranged marriage in another life, in a past life. Yep. We have true love showing up here. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime and playfulness. This person is going to make you feel youthful. They make you feel childlike, little. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to fun and shine. Okay. That's some doozy there on the double down. And let's get a clarification for you on the left. What is your uh, feelings in regards to this reading, in regards to retreat in your family? Prosperous beginnings, right? Somebody's hand in this, the tree of life. Peaches or tomatoes, if that means anything to you. There was a seed planted. You both planted this. This is divinely orchestrated. This is one. After 10, there's one. But someone is in mental conflict. In regards to this too, one and one equals two. So there's a mental conflict. There's a block here, right? There's someone questioning what is going on. Maybe it happened too soon. Maybe it happened at the wrong time, but someone is going to speak up about the, how they feel. They know your value and their worth. I mean, it was divinely guided. We have one, two, there's a progression here. It's leveling up. And then 19, there's that light. The light is very important here. See the light. One and nine is 10. This light, this closing of this chapter, you come in from divine, open up your hands with your healing hands. The healing hands open up this other part and they're starting to remember. The mental conflict is the block that they know they know you from somewhere else. It's a past life experience here. The one is the brand new beginning. There's the hands that are tied together, right? It's the wish in the garden for the two of you. And then we have, where is it at? Right, they're holding their hands together, right? In marriage, here's the internal light, right? The feminine turns on their light for the masculine. The masculine starts to realize, right? It's divinely orchestrated. The feathers, right? The cardinals, someone from your past that passed away. Here comes that communication. There's all the lights lit, right? It needed all the lights. It needed that aha moment. There's the light that you don't see coming. 1212, brand new partnership, brand new partnership. Let me read that real quick. The one here in prosperity begins. The one here is... This card brings a message of beginnings, prosperity, and wealth, and new business, which result from your hard work, past efforts, investments, or it could show up unexpectedly. Damn, I channeled that good. Uh, it may even be presented as a gift with careful and diligent planning. Recent endeavors and money-making ideas show great possibilities and promises of momentary gains, or monetary gains, sorry. This is a time to focus on the most beneficial outcome. Expect the best and envision that project or new job having success as a result. Feel it, see it, and most importantly, believe it. When you focus on abundance and the positive aspects of the material world and offer gratitude, prosperity in all forms will flow even more flowly. So weird. I'm reading for the second time the book by Rhonda Byrne, The Power. And in The Power, it says you feel it to believe it. You have to see it to understand it. And then you manifest abundance. Okay, wow. Let's do the 19 as well. I wasn't going to read it, but I'm going to read the 19. 19, 19, 19 for the light. That is the sun card. So there's being sunshined on here. <clears throat> this card reassures you that this is your time to be in the light. No matter what's happening around you, prosperity and bliss are promised. The qualities of this brilliant card are pleasure, happiness, contentment, growth, success, joy, and illumination. The light always brings forth new birth, a constant renewal of life. This is one of the best, if not the most positive card in the deck, and it's yours. This is now your moment to shine, Aries. The radiance from within will be there for all to see. As people become attracted to the rays of your spiritual light, and by being compassionate, generous, inspiring, and a leader, many will benefit as they feel the warmth emanating for you. Be discerning, but also be open to whatever or whomever you're attracting for your rays reach far and wide. This is global. Been channeling in for days. The light card reminds you that because of its power, nothing remains in the dark. Kind of like the moon card and illuminates. Through its illumination, truths and certain paths before you begin to emerge and be see, surely seen. Using the energy of the positive thoughts and continually thinking about the happiest and most joyful of memories will light the path before you even more brightly and attract exactly what you're emanating. Keep on shining. The sun. Right? You keep illuminating. You keep showing your light. 
and your person will find its way to you or your purpose in life will find its way to you. That's what Spirit said. All right, let me clear this out real quick. I'm going to get some moon cards real quick and a clarifier. And off we go. Okay, give me a card. Give me a card. Give me a moon card. It is the Oracle card of Yasmin Boland. Step out of your comfort zone. It's North Node. That is so funny. Leo is my North Node, and that is the sun right there in the center of the universe, the North Node, Leo energy. Aries, full moon, illuminate what in the North Node? What do you want us to illuminate, Spirit? What are you illuminating? You're very close to achieving your goals, the gibbonous moon, prosperity, and truth, healing, cleansing, the power of pulling back and letting that moon illuminate like the sun and moving into your richness. Final card, Spirit in the Moon deck. Oh, I got two. Surrender to the divine on the full moon and have faith in your dreams, the waxing crescent moon. That's the moon falling. So surrender to the moon next Tuesday and Wednesday. And after that, have faith in your dreams and all of your manifestations will be coming true. Amen. I'm going to get one card for your overall thoughts for this week coming into the full moon, Aries. Thank you again for picking and, and liking the most so far this morning on the read. So you got the Aries bonus read today. And we have the Page of Wands, a message coming in from a fire sign. Fire on fire. There's the ribbon. There's the wand. There's the offer. There's the message. There's the sun on their hat. Someone likes to wear hats. Here comes the sun, I heard. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Yeah. It's all right. Do, 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 do. There you go. There's the ribbon from their heart. And there's the Ten of Pentacles. Do you see her outfit? Someone is a designer here. Someone is manifesting something abundant. A life legacy. Healing from the pain of the past. Creating a legacy. Look how big that castle is back there. Taking back their birthright. This is old ancestral money, old money. Well, someone's doing the work, but someone's also a master manifester and creator. That's what us Aries do, right? We're the magician wishing on that North Note, on the North Star. Wish and all your wishes come true. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out my new website. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Um, Aries, thank you again for having the most likes this morning. Wishing you all the best of luck. It's ironic that it's going into the Aries full moon. And the card that fell out on the bottom, I can't make this shit up, is the sun. You are someone's sun. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. They'll never know, dear. How much I love you, so don't take my sunshine away. We have fire. We have water. We have Leo energy. I have Aries energy. I have Pisces energy. I have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But somebody is manifesting the sun after the hard work and creating the legacy. Abundance is upon you. Namaste, Aries. Have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you soon.